So great news for crypto digital assets, especially Bitcoin. How does this translate to the global economy? Well, not so good if you're in Turkey. So Turkish inflation is uh, going through the roof. What's going on here? So earlier today, one Bitcoin reached its peak value of 117,000. 910 try which is the turkey lira and this is as turkey is scrambling to deal with rapidly rising inflation they are not the only country that is happening to venezuela is one of those other countries and uh, you're going to see the dominoes fall the lira has so far had a very tough year losing 40 percent of its value against the dollar and it's amazing because the dollar is the uh, global reserve currency so we compare everything to the dollar It'd be interesting if uh, the dollar is never or uh, ceases to be the reserve currency, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but it could. Uh, people in the comment section always tell me what a moron I am, <laughs> that I don't believe that it's actually going to happen, but I don't see it's going to happen anytime soon. Turkey's president, uh, Tayyip Erdogan, pushed it to low, new lows by, get this, riling up NATO allies, excuse me, NATO allies, while pressuring the country's central bank to keep low interest rates. That sounds like actually a lot of countries, let's be honest. Meanwhile, Bitcoin uh, has a hard-coded disinflationary monetary policy, is up a little over 90% in 2020. So not a bad year for uh, Bitcoin, right? So, I mean, not that it's up 90%, it's just over, I assume that it's to the dollar, but anyhow. The reason I wanna talk about this is just because when you go out there and you give your elevator pitch for Bitcoin, and you're talking to your friends, family, and loved ones who all think you're crazy for because you're in crypto, uh, believe me, I know. Um, you're going to start to talk about the reason why Bitcoin is so great. And these are one of the stories you can bring up. You can say, you know, look, uh, Turkey is having a, a massive amount uh, inflationary period. And on top of that, as we scroll down, with all this massive inflation, what can they turn to? Well, they can turn to Bitcoin, crypto assets. And just like I said right here, crypto usage is off the chart in Turkey. Well, why wouldn't it be? Because their dollars or their lira or their L-Y-R-A is just totally becoming worthless. In its September report, blockchain sleuth chain analysis placed it at 29th spot by crypto adoption, which is higher than any other country in the Middle Eastern region. Economic uncertainty is the main impetus behind this keen interest in crypto, which also rings true for Venezuela and other struggling Latin American countries. So as you see, when the dominoes keep falling, what can they turn to? Well, you can't really have gold and make it super portable and walk around with it because it's easy to steal and it's not very that portable and maybe it's not that much accessible. However, like it was said, we talked about uh, yesterday, if you can remember 12 words, you can carry your entire wealth in your head and not have to worry about it. And you can even spend it. So it's one of those things where I think as time goes on, we're going to see Bitcoin become more of that asset, more of that store of value, and other things are just going to fall the wayside. However, I still think you should have Bitcoin, gold, silver. Just my two cents. And that's it for this article. Let's finish up with a little SEC.